This video is on shelf vending. Uh, we're going to present for you our 36 shelf as an example. It can be a 24 or 36, but this particular application we're going to show you here is going to be revolving around a 36 shelf uh, dispensing machine. And whether you have it mounted in a metal cabinet, as you see in the background, or it's standalone here in your cabinet, and depending how you want to mount it, 90 degrees or flat, we must have space in the back behind our circuit board. So if you mount this, you got to make sure that you allow space between the back of this cabinet and our board. We do not want our board tipped or bent or anything pressed against here. This edge of this metal must be flat and not bent. Okay. So we're going to start doing our presentation initially what most people want and that's with a bill acceptor and we're going to we've got it set up for our VIN uh, for a dollar VIN so we stick in a one dollar bill it accepts it and it drops one shelf that would be one VIN if we drop a coin in let's say a dollar coin Thank you. again Goodbye. the same thing we just dispense with a dollar coin and you can you can mix them you can have dropping dollar bills in and dollar coins. So you can have a bill acceptor and a coin mechanism uh, into the machine. But as long as you stay with that one dollar value. So if it's a one dollar value, whether you drop a coin dollar bill in or a dollar coin in, and if you're using a coin mechanism, it has to accumulate and give one output to trigger the mechanism because the board's looking for a single um, pulse from the bill acceptor, the credit card, or the coin mechanism. So again, if it's a coin mechanism, your quarter, I mean your dollar coin better be a single. Otherwise, if you're using multiple coins, they have to accumulate to one signal out. Once the accumulated coins reach one dollar, then it would send out a signal. Okay, moving along now, we're going to show with a credit card. And by the way, we're running in pulse mode. All of these VINs, whether they're from a bill acceptor or a credit card or a coin mechanism, are audited at NIAX's system. So at any time you can check to see how many dollars that you've accumulated from bills, credit card, and coins, or if you're using a smartphone application. So you have four different ways to put value to get a VIN here. The NIAX unit accepts magnetic stripe, tap and go, or the new EMV, the chip card. And I should say there's one more, and that is a pin vending scenario using a card that has value on it, like this one here. Each one has a number, and when it gets to zero, it locks out the system. It counts down, in other words, debiting. But it's your own closed loop system. Okay, anything to add to this, Marty? Now we'll go into the computer. Okay, we're going to now shift to the computer mode of how to set up um, site, uh, operations with the computer. I'm going to move in close so you can I'll watch this. it on the screen. I'll bring the API back up from the beginning. Here. I'm on column port 7. It recognizes it because it's got power on it. I have to activate it. I'll update my status. It'll show ready. And the settings for this particular application are a hard reset with no card hold, a delay time of zero. Address here can go up to 255. That is how many pulses it takes to vend. I am leaving it on one pulse to vend because that's what we've got this system set up for right now. And we don't want any multi vins Once you get all that information changed, you go back up to write total number of retries. You click on that one. You click on the next one. All the way down until you get to the multi-dispense. And then you can come back up. Update your status. It should stay ready. And then you have the dispense button. Once you click on that, it will dispense itself. through USB 
I also have the capability with this machine to remove the USB cable. Take this shunt jumper and place it on these two pins and bring in a serial cable off of my computer. And then I'll have to go back in and change my COM port. So that's on COM port 1. That's on COM port 1 on this system. And go to active serial port. Update the status. Now, what's going on? Uh, hold on just a second. That's what I thought. Oh, it helps to plug it in, yes. Yeah, yes. well, I Agreed. had it plugged in, it just got knocked loose. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go back to COM1 again. And we should get a Reddit status now. There we go. Green. We've already entered all of this information over here into that board. It has it in memory, so there's no reason to go in and change anything unless you want a different setting. Once you do that, get your serial port active. When you press on dispense, it gives you your dispense. And then to give you some nuts and bolts, we have a red green inventory LED right here for you that when it runs out of product, you will get a. Back off for just a second. Okay, I'll sure. go ahead and drop all the shells. Let's and you'll see. see. It goes to red. And I also have this system tied in for the empty switch. When it goes to red, after it dispenses the last shell, it's going to take my bill acceptor and everything else offline. I know what's going on. It's not made to switch because it's sitting the way it is. There it goes. You see the LED has turned to red. The angle I had it setting at was blocking the empty switch at the bottom. The red LED has come on and when it did, it took my bill acceptor, my credit card acceptor, and my coin acceptor completely offline. It, so if the machine is empty, nobody can lose money with the system. In other words, we, we've provided an inhibit. A complete inhibit. Whether it be any of the different versions of payment. It also, on the uh, computer side of it, when you go to update status, now it's going to tell you it's empty. And if you try and dispense this way, it will not turn the motor on. You'll get a blue. it go back similar. to blue, but it will not turn the motor on. But it should read empty, and it will do the same with the USB cable. Yeah. So, now, if I reload up my shelves... So all shelves are now loaded again. Now I'll go over here and look at that red empty. As soon as I click on update status, it goes back to ready. And? And when I go to dispense, it'll go out my first shelf. And you'll notice the bill acceptor is uh, illuminated, accepting bills, the credit card's ready, and coin mechanism. Yeah, the credit card will take a minute to come all the way back up. There's your VIN with coin, your VIN with bill, and again, it'll take the credit card except a couple seconds here to go back through this complete setup before I can VIN with it. Okay. Any other items? We Oh, I should mention we have the ability, if you want to connect up a button to that, you can uh, hardwire. You can hardwire a test button here. And that test button, I'm going to simulate turning the button on. All it is is a switch closure. And it gets you VIN. Now, when you VIN with this system through that port there, you will not show a VIN on NIAC's system. However, I have a button that I ship with it installed. When I vend here, it's going through the complete system, and that VIN will show at NIACS. That's why it just said thank you, goodbye, because it recognized that VIN. 
Now we've got the credit card back up. Welcome. We're able Please to swipe it again and then with it. Thank you and goodbye. And again, when it gets to the 36 shelf, after it drops that shelf, when it's mounted correctly, and the switch opens, the red light will come on, the red LED here will come on. Lean it forward. And there the LED came on, and it just turned off the credit card, bill acceptor, and coin acceptor again. status if you click on it. Again, the shelf empty. In review again, this operates on a pulse system. We've incorporated some technology in a small control board to um, be able to account for not only credit card transactions and debit card and smart card uh, cell phone type transactions with an app but also, we were able to now account for all currency and coins and anything you, other you might hook up to it to be able to add value. So we're taking all the inputs from pulse mode and we're sending them back to NIAX as pulse modes. So NIAX doesn't know that it's a bill acceptor, a credit card, or a coin. All it knows is it just got a pulse back from the XCP product, which means we just got that much money. It doesn't know whether it came from a credit card, a coin mechanism, or a bill acceptor using our technology from XCP. Now, with this particular coin acceptor, I'm going to use dimes because I don't want to feed 20 nickels into it. But I have this set up for nickels, dimes, and quarters. Didn't like that one like that one either. Hmm. Oh, that's why. The plug got pushed. You also have your inhibit on. If you notice over here that we've got a red empty. So obviously it's not going to be able to accept any coins, whether they be dimes, quarters, nickels. Now I have it reloaded. So we're back online. And now we should be able to take our there dimes. We go. dimes in here. Some of the dimes. There we go. Ten. And there's our venue. So just to show how the inhibit again works. And that will show on NIAC's system as one dollars worth of vend because I have it set up. That particular accumulator does not send a pulse until it gets that tenth dime in. Yes. Now I want to go over again a little more about pin vending. Uh, NIAX has the capability of issuing PIN numbered cards. So as an example, let's say you have a closed group of individuals, card members, you know, like a golf course or food services, that type, where you issue a photo ID uh, with a magnetic stripe or chip, whichever way you want to do it, and you like to keep the money in your account, not somebody else's account. Then you can issue out your own cards with your own PIN numbers and all the money is kept in your bank account. When these cards issued with whatever value on them, when it finally reaches zero, they would be locked out. Um, NIAX calls it their Monex system, but we call it our Venda card system. So just to show you, internationally you can utilize um, plastic cards with your own PIN numbering. Uh, anything and else? as an example, yep. this is a RFID card, and it'll recognize the card. Well, it should recognize yeah, the card. Yeah, it's a tap and go. Yeah, there's no chip in that one. It's built inside. Yeah, and, and the NIAX is PCI compliant and EMV, in other words, Euro MasterCard Visa, which is a compliance required for international vending. Here's an 
example of another card. No, no, that's got, that's got a chip. I chip believe on it. they've got this turned off at the other end right now, though. It recognized the card, but it's going to tell me it doesn't exist. Right. Because it's a different programming on the card. Right. But it does have the capability. It also has the capability where you can simply wave your card over the top of it without ever touching or inserting your card, and it will recognize that also. And this is a, a key is with cellular apps. So if you're using Apple or any of the other type cellular um, payment systems, all of them can be utilized with the NIAC system. All right, do we have anything else to add to this? I think that pretty much covers it. Okay. I'll wrap it up with electrical power then. We run all low voltage here and we can operate uh, internationally um, from 100 volts to 240 volts AC and we drop it down to 12 volts to power everything. So in some locations where you need sol solar and a battery, everything's all set for you for 12 volts. So you can put your solar panel up and your battery and you can run off the grid. Go ahead, Marty, do you have any other additional items you want to add? No, I believe that covers it. Again, the uh, cabinet directly behind it is this unit will fit in this cabinet or it currently has a 24 shelf installed in it. It has all the same capabilities as the 36 shelf does. Okay. Additional video <coughs> is available on YouTube. We have, I think, a little over 90 videos. You can see the different type shelf vending and different type of applications uh, that people are using around the world. This ends our video. Thank you.